67 Patrice Bergeron. We're going to a place called Lake Winnipehockey. Okay, we're on my favorite lake in Wolfboro in New Hampshire, Lake Winnipesaukee, or as I've renamed it, Lake Winnipehockey. No, seriously, when you've been fishing on this lake with one of the greatest hockey players ever to play in the NHL, number four, Mr. Bobby Orr, yeah, that qualifies for a name change from Lake Winnipesaukee to Lake Winnipehockey. I can do that kind of thing. I'm pretty popular in Iowa. I am looking forward to getting the baits in the water and catching some fish with Patrice. Well, it's no surprise that I'm happy. My only question is, where the hell is Patrice Bergeron and is he gonna be happy to fish Lake Winnipeg? It's a legitimate question. First time here and I'm impressed. It's, it's beautiful, it's big, and it's a gorgeous day. So really excited and, and happy to be here. Well, that's great to hear, Patrice. I'm happy that you're happy. However, let me remind you, you know, there are bragging rights at stake. The question is, are you gonna outfish Claude Julian and Tukoraske? I think you're gonna do better than Coach. Yeah, we'll see, I guess. And uh, Tuka. Better than Coach, I hope. I mean, yeah. He didn't catch anything, so. Ouch! That may leave a mark. That said, it's time to head on the big leg, drop the puck on period number one. That's hockey talk for, hmm, let's fish. Where, where do you live back home? Oh, outside of Quebec City. Quebec City? Yeah, in the suburbs. So what do you fish for back home? Crowds and walleyes. Bergeron grew up in a city that I can't pronounce called Lancien, Lorette, Quebec. Lancienne, Lorette is a city in central Quebec, Canada. The population is roughly 16,000, 15, 16. Its history dates back to 1674. Notable people born in Lancienne, 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 Lorette, uh, Antonio uh, Plamodonia, he was a famous artist, and of course, Patrice Bergeron. Honestly, who writes this stuff? I too want to help you catch a fish so you can rub it in Tuka's face and Coach's face. <laughs> There's bragging rights on the line at the Bruins locker room. <laughs> That's true, actually. Does that count or not really? It counts. <laughs> not really. You know when you're the host and you're already bored. Imagine how the guest feels. <laughs> okay? Camera guy, too. He gets a little bored. That's funny, because the cameraman, you are fired. You get impatient. Watch this. It's the back side. Usually I get him on this thing. That's a cork. What did I say? What did I say? You did say What did I say? You did call it. Oh, it's a stupid pickerel. It's a Tuka-rask fish. Tuka's first pickerel. Bam. Boom. <laughs> What's the fun in that? Two carats. What do you mean? You throw what do you mean you're not going to eat it? <laughs> I called it though, didn't I? Fishing right now is extremely tough, so honestly, that pickle feels really good. But I need to put the puck in the back of the net, not hit the post. Basically, I need a bass or a goal. Is there another one? That's a gorilla, Larry. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, Charlie Moore, you dog. Patrice Bird, that's bad. <laughs> All right? You can play hockey, and I can't. So there's that. <laughs> okay, this fish broke this rod. Kind of like you going through the hockey sticks. Yep. Yeah. Day one of fish with my boy Patrice here. We've got a couple. We've got a couple. Good fish. Now that I've caught two okay fish on an extremely difficult day of fishing, my thoughts quickly turn to getting number 37 on the scorecard. And trust me, today's fishing is tough. So that's going to be tough. It's tough. A lot of tough words. Who's right in the Get stuck? I think so. Or I got some. You got a fish. <laughs> That's a fish, my man. Pickle. Yeah, Patrice. Yeah. Yes, baby. Tied with Tukes. <laughs> That's all I need. Your fish is bigger than Tukes, though. Can I hold it? Take a picture? You should get stuck more often. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Patrice just caught a pickerel. So hopefully we'll get some bass and we're out here having some fun with number 37. We're gonna go to a commercial break. We come back, we'll have some more fun. Trust me. First time in 39 years, the Boston Bruins have won the Stanley Cup. Yeah! Take me through the uh, Stanley Cup run. 
I mean, that was pretty uh, crazy. Was it three game sevens? Yeah, that was something uh, I'll never forget. Uh, started with Montreal. A lot of people thought we were uh, we were done and, uh, you know, won that seventh game and uh, went on to beat Philly in four and then Tampa in seven. An amazing run and uh, definitely some great memories out of it. Drafted by the Boston Bruins, 45th overall in the 2003 NHL Draft, Patrice Bergeron has become one of the best all-around players in the NHL, winning a Stanley Cup in 2011 and three sulky trophies. Bergeron also blanketed the cover of NHL 15. Some of the spots that we hit, we should have gotten a couple yeah. of decent fish. That's a little scary, but not so much because we had some really bad weather, folks, before we did the show with Patrice, and uh, it was real nasty. That's no excuse. Sometimes you got bad ice you're playing on, right? You still yeah. got to go out there and play, right? Exactly. You oh. suck it up. That's just... it. Oh! That's like hitting an open net, Patrice. And hitting the post? He never hits the, he never misses this kid over here. He's a sniper. 53 seconds to go. Bergeron shots. Oh! Patrice Bergeron ties it. Hearts and Lions, they come from three down in the final 11 minutes to tie game seven. Oh, he broke off. Broke a rod again? Broke off. That was a big fish. It's like Big Poppy going back to the dugout. This is what he does. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Poppy! Right now, fishing is extremely difficult, and I've broken two fishing rods. That's not good. I can show you I've lost a rod and reel sponsor by the end of this show. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. There's no way that the fishing rod should be breaking on the size fish I'm catching today, but I'm not sure that's the only issue I'm currently dealing with. A banana! Oh my god. That's bad luck. Is it? Oh yeah, wicked bad luck. <laughs> it's like bad luck for the whole day. <laughs> it's a wicked superstition. How do you feel about the banana now? You know, there are two very long-standing superstitions aboard crab boats that have been passed down to us fishermen. Never bring a banana or a suitcase aboard a fishing boat. Huh, I get that, I'm Italian. There he is, that's a big fish. Oh, it's a pickerel, you son of a gun. Didn't get the script, you're supposed to let Patrice catch you. I get the big bass. <laughs> this fish is a dude. <laughs> This is my favorite lake to fish, and I've done so well here before. Bobby Orr and I crushed the smallmouth bass. Today, bit of a struggle. That means every fish is gonna count. That's a good fish right there. Yeah, daddy, yes. Good job, good job. For a fish like this to be making us happy, that's how tough today is. <laughs> no, it's a little tiny 12-inch bass, but I tell you, it feels like a million bucks, don't it? Yeah, it does, huh? yeah. Like I said, every fish counts. One pickle and one largemouth, really? That's it? One pickle and one largemouth? I don't believe it. I think there's more. Yeah, I don't buy it. All I need right now is a bottle of wine and a burger. No, I don't need all that. I don't need all that. Just a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the plan. Hit one more spot, catch a bass. It's a rock bass, Patrice. <laughs> it's a rock bass. <laughs> then we eat. That's a great plan. Right now, we're gonna be hanging here at uh, my friend's place, Camp Whoopi, right on the lake, and we're gonna be doing some chilling and grilling with Patrice Bergeron. Looks pretty good. Smells good anyways. Looking forward to it. And I don't know what the whole chilling part, because every time someone says chilling and grilling, I'm usually the one cooking. Hey, Charlie, you need any help? You sure? Come yeah. on, where, where you been? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> no, no, no. No, relax. Take a... You sure? Look, yeah, no, relax. Take a look at the view of the lake there. Yeah. All right. I, I got this. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. The part of the show where someone waits till I'm done cooking and asks, Hey, Charlie, need any help? Yeah. Thanks. That said, Patrice has never tried venison. So why don't yeah. you go ahead and grab a rip of that? Right. Yeah, this ought to be good. You like it? Yeah, love it. Do you like it really for no, real? I do, yeah. After a great meal, I think it's best to work off the food with a healthy game of trivia. Now it's time for a little trivia. Charlie versus Patrice. First question, how many goals did Patrice Bergeron score last season? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Toast, no, 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 no. Not doing these questions again. I remember Tuka Rask's questions. The current goaltender for the Boston Bruins played his final season in European ice hockey with what club in the Finnish elite? <laughs> Wait a minute. What, what club was the question? I'd say uh, Ilves Tampere. That's correct. Yes. Who's the goalie? Who's the goalie? Uh, oh, 
It's me. Oh yeah. I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing these questions again. These are random questions. I don't. They're not random. I like the questions. I think they're totally fair. We need new questions. Okay, this one's for Patrice. Who won the 2014-15 NHL Selkie Award? Start over. Shuffle your app. You notice how competitive this show is? Hmm? Yeah. 2014 Selkie Trophy is... You're gonna be happy about this. Patrice Bergeron. Welcome back to the show, everyone. Day two official with number 37, Patrice Bergeron. We need to buckle down and start catching some bass. And hey, Patrice Bergeron needs to buckle up because we're going for a boat ride. Hang on your glasses, don't turn your head. I actually thought I was, was going to dive about five times on that trip. We were flying. I don't know what the hurry was, honestly. But yeah, we're here. We made it. I'm happy. Right on the edge, right here. Can you see the little color change right there? There's the light, yeah, light, I can and then, see it. Yeah, and then yeah. it goes to the dark. Yeah. So they'll come up and they'll hit that right there. So day two is looking pretty lame. Of course, the boat ride was exciting for you, wasn't it? That was exciting and scary at the same time. <laughs> well, you know what you have to look forward to. Go up and they'll hit that right there. So day two is looking pretty lame. Of course, the boat ride was exciting for you, wasn't it? That was exciting and scary at the same time. <laughs> well, you know what you have to look forward to. Going back. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I thought, actually. On the way in, I'm like, are we going to have to do that again on the way back? <laughs> Day two efficient, and time with Patrice is very limited. He's a busy guy. So basically, it's the third period. we got to start scoring some goals. But I say we start with a goal, you know? You got fish on, reel him in. Look at this. Come on. Come on. Oh! oh! That's the second time! You're stuck? I think so. Or I got some. You got a fish! <laughs> That's a fish, my man. Pickle. Yeah, Patrice. Yeah. Yes, baby. And to make my job even more difficult, if that's even possible, apparently when Patrice has a fish on his line, he's completely unaware. Those small anyways, and we have to release it anyways. Come on, man! <laughs> I'm all week long! <laughs> well, I'm looking at your bait like, that don't look right. <laughs> I think there's something on I'm like, that don't look like you have... Oh, because there's a fish on it. Take me through the last game of the Stanley Cup, going to Vancouver, it's game seven, and you're going back out uh, west. Everyone was feeling good, you know, we had a good game in game six, and, uh, you know, pushed for game seven, so we're all at, uh, you know, a good attitude going in, and, uh, well, you have to anyways, it's game seven in the Stanley Cup. Slugged along, and a tough play for Airhoff to make, as it careens to Bergeron, who moves in, Bergeron protects, and down to the ice he goes, the puck wound up going into the net, it's three nothing! Crazy breakaway goal, right? I mean, yeah. uh, it was a yeah. Luongo Kane. Third was, goal, yeah. The third goal was absolutely crazy. Yeah. Uh, that take definitely me through that. It's, it's 2 nothing, and they have a power play, so it's definitely a big uh, yeah, kill for us. And uh, uh, right off the draw, I mean, uh, I think it was Dennis Seidenberg just threw it off the boards, and uh, he hit a, an extension or somewhat, or whatnot, and then uh, ended up uh, just landing in front of me, and I skated for it. And, uh, but then once I, I tried to go... Uh, uh, to protect the puck, I, I fell, but the puck stayed there, and then I, I ran into Luongo with the defenseman that was uh, on the ice with me, and somehow the puck went through. And yeah. all I remember was the referee going. He's, yeah, I yeah. mean, he overemphasized. Same, same he's like, me, yeah. he's going. I mean, I just saw the ref go. That's it, and it's it. That's all. Like, I, all right. That's all I wanted to see. Yeah, that ref <laughs> pointing for the goal. And, and all I want to see is a bass, like on the end of my line, oh, baby. Patrice and I need some love day two. We're gonna get we're gonna get rocked right here. This is a great spot. Spot. The smallmouth should be on here. We should get one or two good fish. Here's my thoughts about fishing. I'm hitting all of my key spots on the lake. I'm making great casts. I should be catching fish. Unbelievable, Patrice. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Bottom line, I'm making a whole lot of excuses for the fish that are just kicking my ass. There we go. Yeah? Oh. Another rock bass. It's like whatever right now, right? Yeah, there's two rock bass. Uh, this trip. Ah, uh, that's not what we're looking for. That's what we call a, uh, yeah, fish. <laughs> and that pretty much sums up how the fishing has been. Little tough. 
a bath, but are usually quite a bit smaller. I get it, I get it, I'm catching small fish today. Enough, who writes this stuff? You know, this may be a good time to stop talking some hockey since the fishing stinks. With number 37, Patrice Bergeron. Hopefully the hockey talk is better than the fishing. Growing up, like who did you, you know, want to be? I was a big uh, Nordics fan growing up, and uh, so Joe Sackick was their captain, and I thought he was a great role model for kids, so I was looking up to him. And, uh, off the ice, um, on the ice was Peter Forsberg. I yeah. always kind of like this style, the way his passion for the game and the way that he played and his intensity. But uh, those two guys, I'd say, were the biggest. Uh, What's the future hold for my man, number 37? Hopefully, uh, at least win one more.